What's up guys, welcome back to episode 4 of the Pokemon Gaia Nuzlocke. In the last episode we took on the first gym and got our first gym badge and in today's episode we are going to be making our way to the second tunnel entrance to Arkin Tunnel. I brought Wendy out so we could uh, use her for cut and um... <coughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, so he, she's going to probably become our HM slave, which kind of sucks. Nick. Oh, there's Professor Wedwood. That looks like the exit we were looking for. I'll go and get Crow. Whoa, this place is insane. How have I never found this before? Oh, look, a Tangrowth. This tablet is fascinating. It looks a lot like the one in Arkintown, doesn't it? Hmm. These glyphs are at the base. They seem familiar. Aha, I remember now. An old friend of mine used to study this language. His name is Herschel. He's a Pokemon trainer too. <coughs> Sorry. Um, <coughs> I feel like I'm getting sick, which probably isn't a good thing. Anywho. If we're going to translate this tablet, we'll certainly need him. Last I heard, he was headed to Era City to create the museum. The two of you should go and find him. Alright, Nick. I race you to Era City. Okay, so we have to uh, head out to Earth City so we can uh, get uh, to Herschel. But this is our new route, so we can get a new encounter. And this encounter is going to be a Snubble. That's not bad. That's not um, bad. I don't. I'm not going to complain. <clears throat> I keep coughing, and it's not good. It's probably because I just woke up like not long ago. But anywho. We caught the, uh, oh, never mind. I'm upset. I felt so trolled. Anyways, we did catch the Snubble. Snubble, the fairy Pokemon. It has an active, playful nature. Many women like to frolic with it because it's affectionate ways. So we did catch the Snubble, and we're going to nickname it. Its nickname is going to be Steven. Apparently. That's a good name for this thing. Steven the Snubble. Steven could, or a Snubble would actually be pretty good, except it is a fairy type, and we already have two on the team right now. So, we'll save him for if anything happens to Agnes or um, Marvin. Probably more so Agnes, because Marvin's already a fairy type too, and we don't really need one. We don't need a pure one if we're gonna have a, uh... Like, we're not gonna re-add a pure fairy type if we already have a fairy type. Except right now, um... Marvin doesn't have any fairy type moves, which sucks. But you know, I'm going for headbutts. There we go. So Joel is one level away from evolving, which is great. Um, and we've learned Rock Blast, so I'm gonna get rid of Tangle. Okay, so um, I'm ready for Joel to evolve. That would be really nice. But um, a Shinx, that would have been cool to have too. Anyways, um, is there anything up here? Oh, we can fight some people. I wonder if, like, there are any other areas with static Pokemon like the Arkham Tunnel had with Agnes, because that would've been... <coughs> ah, sorry. That would've been really cool. Anyway, we're gonna go for these Rock Blasts. We're gonna Antidote up. Rock Blast again. There we go. Um, nope, okay. I do want to try to find some more static encounters, and I do like, like, I, I personally, I like the idea of stat static encounters being their own encounter. I know there are people who don't like that as much, but, I don't know, I just, um, I like the thought. Either way, Joel's going to evolve after this, um, fight, so we're just gonna headbutt this thing, and we're going to get a nice little, um, print fluff. That's awesome. Okay, um, honestly, I love Prinplup. I actually, I love all of the starters in Sinnoh. I love their first forms, I love their, um, I love their middle evolutions, and I love their final evolutions. I don't dislike any of them, which is why, like, honestly, when I was coming up for my mascot, it was originally tied between the three of them, Prinplup, Monferno, and, um, Grottle. But I decided to go with Monferno. I don't know why specifically. I just kind of thought 
you know, Mar Inferno would be cool. But, um, I do like all of them, and honestly, um, ooh, that wasn't good. Either way, um, <clears throat> okay. But, um, please stop that. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Okay. But either way, um, yeah, so, um, I do like all three of them, and I should probably, I should probably, uh, go throw Piplup and Turtwig onto my channel art, which, if you guys have noticed, um, I didn't add Abe to it, because he was kind of like an MVP all-star from Extra Emerald, and adding Turtwig would also make sense just because of the fact that we did, um, have Soda Pop back in... Um, Sacred Gold, and he was an MVP. He was probably... I think he was the longest living one towards the end. I think he was the last one that was alive from the original Pokemon I had. Or, well, like, the oldest, at least. Because we got him in Goldenrod. And I think everyone else prior to Goldenrod had died. Or just wasn't used. But either way, um... <coughs> we need to... Um, yeah, talk to this guy. <laughs> the Earth's Museum is, uh, having an exhibit. <laughs> yeah. You don't believe me? Ah, oh, you belligerent, belligerent child. I'll make you pay. Okay, so that was, like, a Team Plasma sprite, so I'm gonna assume they are the evil organization for this, um, region. He has two Bunnelbees. What a champ. Ooh, that was, yeah, okay. I don't know what this last thing is. A Hootoot? That yeah, is one Hootoot. Go for rollouts. Just do a ton of damage. Perfect. Marvin is uh, quite the team member, if I do say so myself. Either way, we're gonna keep. Uh... I can't. Vernon up front. I don't know why I forgot his name, but they like blinked. Just keep uh, headbutting everything. Vernon is definitely a good mem er, member of the team, that is for sure, and I do like him, but either way, we're gonna keep going. A rock and roller. I can't fight that, I'm gonna go into Marvin, and Bubble Beam it. <clears throat> Bunnelby? Um, let's go into Sally, and Rock Blast it. There we go. Okay, um, perfect. Another... I'm gonna put Agnes up front. Uh, Vernon got an item. Another Citrus Berry. I do like that basically everything um, Vernon picks up are healing items. He's picked up like seven Citrus Berries now. And a Super Potion. And that is our main priority. Your help would be invaluable. I've already given you my answer. It would be, it would not be prudent to ask again. Herschel, I feel I have not explained myself properly. Ma'am, the child I was talking about is here. Don't interrupt. It's clear we won't be persuading you anytime soon. Thank you for your time. We are finished here. Oh, good day, child. I presume you saw that. If you are curious, those people are ridiculous fanatics. I want no involvement with them. I hope you don't mind my asking, but it, is that a Redwood card you have pinned on your jacket? It is. Oh, how extraordinary. Charles, er, Professor Redwood, is a great friend of mine. What's that? He sent you here to find me? Arkham Tunnel, the old language? How intriguing. I would love to help. Very well. <clears throat> Keep coughing. Oh my god. I will wait for you at the exit of Air City, and then we can go together. I shall see you there. Okay, so... We are, uh heading out, but first we're going to go do a little bit of healing. We definitely need more money, though. Um, we, we cannot buy, like, anything, which is probably not good. Either way. Are you ready? Let's go. <clears throat> Back to Arkham Tunnel. Charles, it is great to see you. So you want this to be translated very well. Let's see. This is quite cryptic. I can only decipher the odd word. He seems to be saying the Earth is waking up. Oh, and it mentions Apex Temple here. Apex Temple? That's the temple at the peak of Mount Ignis, right? Hermaza, the elders of Orbitus, stored their knowledge there. Maybe we can find some answers about the tremors from the temple. Nick, the mystery unfolds. How exciting. 
You should head to Apex Temple. It, this means climbing Mount Nicknus. I think the passage is in this room onto Salento Path. To continue through, you'll need this. It's HMO6. <clears throat> I apologize for my constant coughing. I don't know why it keeps happening. Anyways, Herschel, it has been a pleasure, like always. Thanks for your help. Anytime, my dear friend. I'm afraid I must leave now, though. I have duties to attend to. Farewell, Charles, and, uh, trainer. Did he... How rude. He doesn't even know our name. I will pass the message on to Crow. If you need me, I'll be back in my home in Arkentown. Good luck, Nick. Okay, so that does mean we do need um, Wendy still for being our HM slave, and I feel so bad. Wendy could be a really good Pokemon, honestly, but we, we just already have Vernon, so... I mean, I can't really do anything. But Arkan Tunnel... Um... <coughs> oh, man. Anyways. <clears throat> we can take on these, uh, trainers. <coughs> God, I think I'm getting sick. I blame Crow. I don't know how, but... <coughs> it could just be because I'm just waking up and, well... It was a natural thing for me. I don't know why. <coughs> this is so bad. I'm so sorry. Either way. Um, fighting types. Agnes. Wild Pokemon. Okay, Charming Cry. A super effective hit, like, everything here. No problems. Meditite. There we go. Um... I think we're just about out of Paris, Chris. Actually, Paris isn't that bad of Pokemon. Anyways. Uh, more trainers. Charming Slap will not do anything. That thing is a steel type. Mobile Beam. Um, let's heal up. The Metal Claw, oh no. There we go. Geodude. Um, let's just stay in. Bubble Beam. Dwebble. Bubble Beam. Bubble B. There we go. Good job, team. Fernan does have an item. We'll take that from him. Another Citrus Berry. Sweet. <clears throat> a Numble? That could have been kind of cool. <clears throat> Either way. Here we are in Solanto Path. Um, level 3? Why is this guy so low level? Oh, oh. Okay, no. This is where we caught um, Vernon. We just never went up here. Okay. Anyways, here we are in Nest Pine Climb, which is a new area, so we can catch a Pokemon. And our encounter is going to be... A Fletchling. That's not bad. Um, Having a Fletchling would be nice because it will be a Fire Flying type. And that can be our Flyer. So, as soon as we get out of here... We can actually put this thing onto the team, but a fletchling, that's really cool. We're gonna generate a name. Fletchling, the tiny robin Pokemon. Despite the beauty of its lilting voice, it's merciless to intruders that enter its territory. Okay, so its um, nickname is going to be Moni. Moni? Moni? I'm bad at names. I can't pronounce this, dude. I'm gonna say Moni. But, um, this is a fighting type, so we're going to go into Agnes. Um, oh, of course. There we go. <coughs> Agnes learn follow me, I don't want that. Pancham, um, more Charming Cries. There we go. We definitely need more healing items, so we will need to go shopping desperately. A Firestone, that is good. Um... That is good. Um, we can use that. We actually, a Leaf Stone and a Fire Stone will definitely be useful if we get anything that evolves through those. Um, I think this is Ghost Types. Yep. That's not good. I don't like Ghost Types, dude. Well, not, I don't n not like Ghost Types, they just scare me. Anyways, a Nugget, perfect. That can give us some money, so we will definitely have money when we need it. Either way, um, we're gonna potion up. And let's keep going with this. Timber, um, we can pack this. Pack it. Just keep packing. Crow gunk. Um, it's a poison type, so 
Um, Agnes is probably not the best bet. Let's just go into Marvin. Oh wait, this thing may have, um... Yeah, okay, so I guess we are gonna just stick with, uh, Joel instead. Helping hand now. Okay, let's keep going. Keep heading up. Um, this guy... Nope, okay. Just keep going. This is an old guy, we can probably fight him. A Spiro, that could've been really cool too. What do you say? Shall we- wait, what? Hello, young traveler. I'm the Cliffside Shaman. If you can best me in the Pokemon Duel, I will heal you and your Pokemon. Um, I don't know how strong this guy will be. But, let's go for it. He'll heal us, so... Three Pokemon. Pansage? Oh, man. Maybe he'll have the, um, Elemental Monkeys? That wouldn't be bad. Um, let's go into Vernon, just because... That did some good damage on us, so we're gonna headbutt. There we go. Not to. Um, Sally can deal with that. It's a rock blast. Or miss. There we go. Absol. Ooh. Agnes got this. Charming Cry. Huh? Charming Cry. There we go. Very well. There you go. Be careful on your journey. Oh, so he can heal us now forever. Cool. That's perfect. Um... Fan feed? That could've been cool. Either way, um... Part of me feels like there's gonna be a rival battle soon, because he did say he was gonna be giving the message to, um... Crow. So, if I had to take a guess, Crow is gonna... That was a crit? I don't like that. Agnes? Charming Cry. Did it just... It's paralyzed my entire team. That's rude. Mine in, of course. Rock Blast. See, so this is why I hate plus one mine in. Because first off, they're super fast, and all they do is spam like moves that always constantly paralyze you. And they also, for some reason, never die because apparently they take hits way better than they should. That or my Pokemon are just weak. Hey, do you like camping? Me too. Nice. Oh, okay. I'm a lumberjack. After I've finished working for today, I'm gonna hike up to the Windmill City and relax at the Windmill Tim Timber Guild. Okay. That's another. Yep, okay. Aroma Lady. Oh, that's a Flabebe. That's a Vine Whip. So it's not a... It's not a... Uh... I think it's not a Grass type, but... You know. Rosalia. Um, Vernon is our best bet. Go ahead, buddy. There we go. Good job, Vernon. Bonsley. Um... Yeah, it's not a Grass type, so we'll just... Bubble it. Let's just keep going. Um, I don't know the specific way we're supposed to be going, so... Oh, Nest Pine Town. Okay, cool. New area. Um, or new town. Um, so we're gonna actually grab, um, Moni real quick and put her on the team. But either way, that is going to be it for today's video, guys. And in the next episode, we will, um, I don't know. We'll probably continue on to Mount Ignis. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.